All right, everyone, thank you for tuning in again. This is episode number eight. Uh, we're no longer going to be doing it on Instagram. It's going to be going straight to our YouTube channel, so you can watch it at your own convenience and also watch it with higher definition quality. Today's story, well, not really a story, episode is Diamond Face Off. It's going to be emerald and radiant cut. And for the next few stories, we're going to be comparing two similar diamond cuts and go into detail on each one, show you loose diamonds and show you them into finished rings also. Uh, for emerald and radiant cuts, although they look quite different in their sparkle and appearance, but it is a shape that a lot of people get in between when they're deciding for an engagement ring because they do look similar in appearance on the hand. Now, both of these shapes have similar outlines, flat edges and cut corners and similar length to width ratios. The major difference between them is going to be how they sparkle and their brilliance, which is what we're going to go into right now. So we'll start with emerald cut. Here we just have a nice layout from one to two and a half carats. Just move that over for you. One, 1.5, 1 1.72. 1 this is actually two and a quarter. I just threw that in there and this is two and a half. So I'm going to show you first on the GIA report. So an emerald cut is a step cut diamond. And we'll just flash over here. Meaning that all the facets run parallel to each other straight lines here here and across so what that means is that it gives you a different kind of sparkle it gives you larger flashes of sparkle as opposed to a more brilliant fastening pattern of most any other diamond shape it creates a sort of hall of mirrors effect it's a very elegant look it's understated in its appearance and that's kind of the major appeal to it as with any other fancy shaped diamonds i'm going to go on the certificate again i've mentioned this before there is no cut grade all you'll see is polish and symmetry. So anytime you see a website throw a cut grade on it, they're not being 100% accurate. It's something that you kind of have to gauge by seeing a video of it or seeing it in person and then using all the other factors and percentages that are showing up on the certificate. So at Lauren B, we do provide in-depth HD videos of all our loose diamonds before a customer selects them to make sure that they can make an informed decision. Now. In terms of the overall shape, emerald cut diamonds usually have a ratio of around 1.3 to 1.45 to 1, meaning that you can get one that's a little bit longer or one that's a little bit more narrow. So I'm going to pick up two options here, show you a nice example. These are both around the same weight. This one on my to edit this <laughs> this one here is a longer cut emerald cut diamond this one is going to have a ratio of about actually let me switch it we're gonna have to edit this on okay let me fix this not good okay so emerald cut diamonds can have different ratios now that means that there is a range within that is acceptable for most people and really it's a matter of preference so the one on my right is a more wider ratio it's a 1.3 to 1 ratio which is sort of the norm or what a lot of people are after and then the one on my left is a longer slender emerald cut with a ratio over 1.4 to 1 this one is wider. This one actually weighs 2.2 .2 carats. The one that's longer and slender weighs 2 carats. But by being having that more elongated appearance, it does give it the appearance of having a larger center diamond. Now some people will prefer this one because it's a little fuller on the hand. Maybe they think it looks better with different settings. So this is just two examples of of radiant cut di of emerald cut diamonds with different length to width ratios. Now you can choose one, whatever you like. There's ones that go down to as 1.2 to 1 that would be very wide. And they can be really long and skinny over 1.5 to 1 ratio. So kind of getting an idea of that and what you think would look better on your hands is important as well. Both sparkle beautifully, so it really comes down to a matter of preference. Now for the other quality factors in a emerald cut diamond, I'm going to put these down for a second and just go back to the certificate. So just judging by the certificate here, you can see emerald cut diamonds have a very large table in the center. No other diamond has this large of a table and clear fastening underneath. So what that means is that if there's any kind of noticeable inclusion here, you will be able to see it with the naked eye. That's why 
you really want to stay away from SI1 clarity for sure. I'm going to go back to the GIA chart over here. And for clarity, you really want to go up into the range of VS2. And if you want to play it safe, VS1 or better to ensure that it's going to be completely eye clean diamond. There are good VS2s also, so again, you kind of have to gauge that by seeing a visual of it, having a diamond expert walk you through the process. On the flip side, you can get away with a lower color grade on an emerald cut diamond because there's no concentration of facets. It doesn't show the color as easily face up. So for that reason, eye is a very safe bet for an emerald cut, not so much with any other diamond shape. Even J color can appear white face up. So I'm going to go back to these two examples I had here. And instead of focusing on their length to width ratio, now try to judge the color because the one on my right hand is an H color. And this one over here is a E color. So that's quite a big difference in color. And face up, even me, if I'm looking at it right now, it's you can see it slightly, but it's very hard to discern because you're really just seeing the facets and the clean lines. There's no concentration or colorful overtone to the diamond. Now I'm going to put it down here on a white card also so we can see it. Better to show this way, I think. So this one is the E color. Let me see if we get the light on that. And this one is an H color. So you can see a slightly different color variation when it's on a white card and side by side. But then again, you're never going to do that in real life. So maybe something not to be concerned with. Now I'm just going to flip them back face up. Still, you can notice a slight bit of color in the H, but again. So my eye still looks beautiful and the e-color obviously looks whiter, looks more like the background that it's on. Again, H and E. So that's definitely a place you can give up on is the color grid. So you want to stay high in the clarity and you can go a little bit lower in the color for an emerald cut. So I think that's a good overview of that shape. So we're going to move on now to radiant cut diamonds, which are quite similar in their appearance. Again, radiant cut diamonds are lined up here from 1 to 2.5 carats. That's 1, 1.57, 1.7, 2, and then we jump up to 2.5 carats. So I'm going to go back to now another GI report. I'm going to show you a radiant cut diamond. And we'll keep the emerald cut one below it so you can kind of see the difference. And you'll see the fastening pattern is completely different. So whereas the other diamond was a step cut, this is a brilliant cut. Facets all extend from the center of the stone. Crisscross pattern to give you that fiery appearance that lacks of the emerald cut. Again, it does have a larger table, but not nearly as large as the emerald cut. So for that reason, you can get away with a lower clarity grade in here because also the fastening underneath is going to hide any inclusion. So it's going to create a confusing pattern to the eye and you're not going to be able to see if there's a little spot in the center. For that reason, I'm going to go over here for an emerald cut. You can go down in clarity. We can say even down to SI2 in some cases. SI1 is great and anything above that is, is going to be fine as well. For the color, you might not want to go lower than I, but obviously it depends on each stone and it depends on your preferences. Some people like a little warmth in their stone, but on a radiant cut, maybe you want to stay eye color or better to be safe. So very different uh, approaches to purchasing these kind of stones. For the ratio also 1.2 to 1 to 1.35 to 1 is a safe place to be uh, for, the, for the radiant cut. So, and I'm going to now do some comparison of emerald versus radiant cut. Now let's get on to a comparison side by side of uh, radiant and emerald cut so you can really see the difference between them. Again, 1.7 carat each emerald radiant versus emerald and then radiant versus emerald two and a half carat each so you can really see the sparkle is different here you're getting that brilliant look you're getting a lot of fire out of the stone as opposed to the emerald cut you're getting larger flashes of brilliance reflecting back to you with the white light so really two completely different uh, ideas here and again these are all about the same weight they can be cut differently from stone to stone but I tried to pick ones that have similar length to width ratio so now I'm just going to pick up two in detail 
I'm going to pick up the two and a half carat of each stone. And we're going to go into a little detail on these two. So just to give you an idea, this is a 2.5 carat radiant cut over here. G color SI1. And on my, my right hand, and on your left, is going to be an emerald cut eye color VVS clarity. And this goes to show that this is the kind of color and clarity combinations that we're looking for out of these kind of diamonds. So for the radiant cut, we went down to SI1 because it's still going to hide the inclusion well. And we want to stay a little bit higher in the color, so we went for a G. Emerald cut, on the other hand, color does not show as easily, so we went down to eye color, which is still in the near color range, but on the lower end of it. But we stepped up the clarity all the way to VVS1. We want to ensure no visible inclusions in the diamond because you really will be able to see clearly through it. And I'll just move them around very slowly. So you can kind of see the differences there. Both have cut corners. It's a little bit hard to see. The way that they cut the corners varies from stone to stone. Now I'm going to bring in one more diamond into the mix. I'm going to bring a round diamond because everybody always wants to know how everything compares with a round stone because the round diamond is the basis for all diamond grading. It's the industry standard. So let's see how a 2.5 carat round diamond is going to stack up with these stones. So I'll do it first, the emerald cut first. And you'll see a round diamond always going to have a larger appearance than these two of the same weight. And the sparkle from a round brilliant to a step cut emerald cut is going to be two opposite ends of the spectrum. You see? Now, sometimes people might say that an elongated shape like this emerald cut will give you a larger appearance on the hand, which can be true, but against a round diamond, not necessarily the case. Now, let's pick up the radiant cut, compare that. You'll see now here the sparkles on here, these two are very similar. A lot of fire comes out of each stone. Both are brilliant cut. So a rainy cut might be a good option for someone who likes the sparkle of a round diamond or a cushion or perhaps even a princess but wants to change up the shape a little bit to something nice and elongated on their finger. And we find that rainy cut diamonds are becoming very popular of late. A lot of people are asking for them in our custom designs. So we're going to kind of move on to that in the next segment and show you some of our different engagement designs with emerald cut and radiant cut diamonds. Part, which everybody's probably watching for is to look over some different ring designs with emerald cut and radiant cut diamonds that we have in stock at the moment. We're going to go style by style and compare a radiant and emerald cut in each one so you can get a nice comparison. We're going to try them on a lady's hand as well so you can get the full idea. So first we're going to start with the simplest. We're going to start with two solitaire designs. I'll show them here first. First we have an emerald cut in an all rose gold setting, 1.3 carat. This is an invisible gallery style, see underneath. And we're going to show it against a 1.6 carat radiant cut in a two-tone, four-prong style. This one is SOR 15741 and the one on my right and your left is SOR 16265. Again, two completely different looks but very similar style rings. So can kind of get a feel. The emerald cut is a very free on our hand model. Catherine, thank you very much. Try the emerald cut one on first. Emerald cut is a very understated diamond as we mentioned before so when you pair it with a solitaire design you're going to really just keep it very simple and elegant. And they kind of work very well together in that sense. On the flip side someone might say that emerald cut lacks all that fire and brilliance so they might not find the solitaire design to work well with it and they might prefer to jazz up the setting a little bit. Again, just a matter of preference. But this is a very clean style. The center diamond there is a 1.3 carat. I'm going to move over to this radiant cut ring. SOR 15741. This ring, the second one she tried on is going to be in that price range. And the first one is going to be more in this price range, just really based on the carat weight size. That was 1.3 and that's 1.6 carat. So really very simple, elegant designs. You can't really go wrong with either of them. Again, choosing the center stone is going to make or break the look here and it's really going to depend on what you 
what you want to go for. But the focal point definitely remains the center stone in both of these designs. Okay, so let's move on to the next set of rings. We're going to do two very classic styles. We have SOR 15945 for the emerald cut, and then we have SOR 14838 for the radiant cut. Both are from our Pave family, very delicate band, floating look. And of course, I'm going to flip it over quickly. We have our full diamond wrap underneath, which is that detail that everybody loves. Both center stones are similar in size. This one's a little bit smaller. This is a 1.7 carat. I believe it's in the eye color VVS range, which is what we pointed out before. And here we have an SI1 clarity, but look, it still has a beautiful sparkle on it. And again, we'll we'll just do two at a time, I think. Maybe it'll be mm -hmm. more useful for people to see them side by side. Again, focus on the center stone. Don't forget about the design. If you like a pave design, you're deciding between emerald or radiant cut. This can be very helpful for you to see them side by side if you can get them close together. This is invisible gallery style. And the other one is our full wrap pave design. You see this style here is gonna sit very low on the hand. It's still allow for a flush band. Here this one's a little bit higher because it has the full wrap underneath and the stems that connect to it. They're both beautiful styles. And again, similar, but once again, the center stone changes the entire look in this case because of the way that they sparkle. Okay, moving along, we're gonna kind of keep adding a little bit to each design as we go along. So that was a simple pave design. Now we're gonna get to something a little bit more complex. We're gonna do three stone rings with pave on the band. So. We have the Radiant Cut, SOR 16166, and VNR 14630 for the Emerald Cut. Here, one thing to note, I'm gonna point it out here, is that when you do a three stone ring with either an Emerald or Radiant Cut, you wanna make sure that the side stones you choose, obviously we would guide you in this, but if for some reason you're doing this on your own, which I doubt you will, you wanna make sure that you go with a step cut side stone to go with the Emerald Cut. And if you go with the radiant cut to get a brilliant cut side stone. These are both trapezoids, different shapes to them, but of course the cuts in them are different because they must match with the center stone to keep a fluid look throughout. These are very similar, if not exact, style of rings. And this is a 1.5 carat radiant cut center, and that's a 1.7 emerald cut center. I think this one is going to be in this price range. I'm going to try this one on first. That's the emerald cut. And in this case, we did use wider trapezoid side stones. Why? Because we wanted to give you the appearance of one larger stone in the center. And on the radiant cut, we kind of went for the same look and feel. Try that on. <coughs> to show you something about these designs while we're at it, I know it has nothing to do with the center stone, but a wedding band will sit exactly flush with them. You won't see this anywhere else, a three stone ring that sits flush with a wedding band as good as we do it and still keeping a low profile appearance. So these are kind of twins I would say, the exact same designs, double claw prongs, uh, pave and the band probably under two millimeters, wide side stones, and flush fitting wedding bands. Choosing between these two can be difficult, they're both beautiful. So. Good to see them on someone's hand in motion and of course side by side. Now we're going to move on to the next series. We're going to do halo styles. Again, we just keep adding style to the ring. So we went from solitaire to pave to three stone with pave. Now we're going to add diamonds around the center stone. We're going to have two comparisons here. We're going to have an emerald cut and radiant cut. These are both one carat center stones. Both have the cut corner look. And again, you'll see because the emerald cut is a step cut faceting, it's gonna have a different contrast to the side diamonds. The radiant cut blends in, the one I'm tapping, with the pave diamonds because they're all brilliant cuts. I happen to really like the contrast that you provide with the emerald cut and the halo. I think it looks different, it looks unique. And if you want the radiant cut, it's really gonna be a dazzling, sparkling ring. So 
Let's try on both of these rings, please. If you want to actually put them on the same finger this time. And both these are going to be around that lower end of this range that I put here, seven to 10,000 range. Again, one carat center stones. This is a four stem attachment underneath. This is a cathedral design, a little bit different underneath, but aside from that, they're quite similar. Both have delicate bands to help give you a nice, uh, clean look on the hand. Very nice. Okay, so now we'll move on to something a little bit larger, also staying in the halo style. We're not going to move away from it just yet. These are actually two of my favorite rings for halo styles. It's a cathedral design. Exactly same ring again. We just have them for different center stones. I just want to show the, the profiles of these in detail first because really the way that they're detailed in the basket is very delicate. The gallery is very open and clean, super delicate. This design won't sit flush with a wedding band, but of course sometimes you can throw that out the window when you get a lot of fine workmanship like that. You can wear the wedding band on the other hand or just have a little space underneath. And then we'll just go back to the center stones again because it's even more accentuated here, the differences between the two. The step cut over here of the emerald cut and then we have the radiant cut. This is a G color SI1 in the center and this is an I color VS. Both are around 1.7 to 1.8 carat range. They're going to fall in this kind of range. Both are platinum designs. Let's try these both on the hand again at the same time. They both fit. So you can get a really good visual of them side by side. So again, a lot of contrast here from this one, the step cut with a small round pave next to it. And here with the radiant cut, it's more of a blended look. It looks really, really impressive on the hand because everything kind of flows together and there's really not as much distinction between the center stone and the halo. So at home you can decide which one you like better and you can kind of move in that direction for the center stone and setting you like. Now we're going to move on to some really fancy designs to try to jazz things up a little bit. These are look different obviously in design and center stone. This one is a radiant cut, three carat. This is a very popular style that we make. It's a three row band. Cathedral design, diamonds everywhere in the gallery, on the side of the stone. So this one has a lot of flash to it. Here on this hand we have an emerald cut, three stone halo. Everything is encased in a halo three carats in the center, another very impressive looking ring. These are very particular styles, you really have to love them, but nonetheless, they're really all beautiful. So let's just try these on the hand. Again, three carat center stones, separate on these. And for these kind of rings, these are gonna jump you over that $30,000 mark. Of course, don't keep in mind, we can make these with moissanite center stones as well, to bring down the price life exponentially so if you really love these designs we can make them with any type of center stone or shape of center stone that you have in mind again radiant cut emerald cut three stone halo radiant cut three row band maybe you just want to show the profile and then we'll show the next set of rings Beautiful. Next. Now we're going to move on to the next set. We're going to have a, again, these are different styles. I'm just trying to show you some fancier ones that we do. I'm going to put this right on. This is SOR 16096. That's a 2.3 emerald cut, at rating cut center. And going back to what we spoke about before, this is an SI2 clarity, but the ones that we pick for stock are the finest SI2. It's completely eye clean. It's also an E color, so the color is amazing. And that's kind of the combination you're looking for out of a rating cut. High color, 
you can give up on the clarity and you want to have a beautiful cut like this gorgeous it might look like two and a half carat it weighs 2.3 something like this is going to be around that price range i do have to double check that it might be a little bit more but you can always look into that now this is another one i'm going to put on the other hand this is an emerald cut two carat this is a very elaborate design split band not something we've actually featured a lot of late it's a style that we've had from quite a while ago but still popular also two carats in the center very sharp i mean detailed uh, work on the halo so you can really accentuate the shape of the emerald cut with the cut corners double edge and of course the gallery leaves nothing to your imagination everything is completely finished no metal showing and split bands are not as popular right now but we do have people more and more asking for them so they do work well with elongated shapes such as uh, emerald or radiant cut center diamond. Okay, last but not least, we're just going to bring in some moissanite rings because they do cut them in these in these shapes as well. Sorry, yeah, that's good. This is an emerald cut, nine by seven, rose gold setting, and just as with diamonds, they hold the same kind of optical properties. You can see very clearly with the step cut on the emerald cut moissanite. And I'm just going to put this one over. This is S O R one five nine seven eight, radiant cut, halo design in platinum. Both are stunning, really it comes down to what you feel is going to look better on your hand. you like something more understated, elegant, go for an emerald cut. You want that daz dazzle, that sparkle, go for a radiant cut. Of course, the setting is also going to make or break the look. So all of our custom designs are made by hand to ensure a seamless look throughout. The halo fits perfectly around the center stone and the ring just flows perfectly together on the hand. So. Just to recap today, we went over radiant versus emerald cut. We went over different designs, loose diamonds. We went over it all. So if you have any questions, you can always email us. You can go on our website, look on our video gallery, look on our design. You can schedule an appointment to come in. We'd be happy to show you all these rings that we have in stock, which was about 30 today, and show you them in person. And you can make a decision from there. So thanks again for everybody for watching, and we will continue this next time. Thank you.